Ohio law <coughs> does not require that you join a union, even though you might work in a union shop. <coughs> All that it does require is that you do something what is called contribute fair share. And fair share, if you do not know what it is, is that if you are taking advantage of the fact that there is a union contract that grants, let's say, pension benefits, health care benefits, administration of a grievance process, step raises, and, and other things that the entire workforce is granted, that, that you are required to pay a small amount for the maintenance of those benefits which accrue to you while not having to A, belong to a union, or B, paying union dues. So in light of that information, it seems as though that the freedom that you are espousing here, that one would not have to join a union, is already part of the body of law of Ohio and aren't you simply being redundant? Uh, Chair, thank you. Chairman Shuri, Representative Lesson, thank you for the question. Uh, Representative Mag and I are fully aware of uh, the Ohio law. Uh, and I have a couple points. First of all, if you feel, or if anyone would feel, that this legislation is simply being redundant with what's in current law, then they shouldn't have an issue with it passing. Number two, we are also fully aware um, that unions have the option to represent all workers. They are not forced to. So that, that is, uh, and I've heard some people say there's a, a free rider argument. Well, I would argue that it's a, a compelled passenger argument. Um, Representative, I have some follow-up. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, the 